Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Oracle Database 21C on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 version. First connect to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. Open terminal. See here, this is the 8 version. Open terminal. Open Firefox. First step, we have to install following third party packages. I will keep all these packages information in the video description. Hit enter. See, it is saying not root subscription management repository is not support, not updated. So switch to sudo sudo user that is root user. Then control L to clear screen. Paste that command again. Now go to Firefox and search for download Oracle 21C and hit enter. Click on this Oracle, 20, Oracle Database 21C download for Linux X. See, scroll down. We have to download this Linux x86 DB home zip file. I will keep this link also in the video description. Just click on it to download the Oracle Database 21C. Check this checkbox that is I reviewed and accept license agreement. Then click on this download 21.3 DB home. We have to provide the Oracle account sign in. This is not the Oracle account. If you don't have Oracle account, just click on create account. Here we have to fill all this data then whatever email id you provide here and password those needs to be filled with account sign in so i have already account so i am going with my user credentials that is this one then click on sign in don't save Once it sign is, see, download has been started. Click on show all downloads. See, its a size is 2.9 gigabytes. I am going to pause this video until this download completes. See, download has been completed successfully. Now go to terminal, pwd, ls-ltrh, cd, downloads control l to clear screen ls see here we have the oracle database 21c zip file now we have to create groups and user for oracle then we have to set the password for oracle Now create user and add that user to these three groups by pasting this command. Whatever the commands or the links used in this video are available in the video description. Now set the password for this Oracle user. Pass WD Oracle. Remember this password. I have set the password for this Oracle user. Next create directories and grant the permissions for those directories. See it has created root directory 
this this directly in this one it has created app then oracle then product and version of the oracle change the owner to oracle grant the privileges to this u01 next we have to configure user bash profile pwd ls iphone la rth see here we have the dot bash profile so cat dot bash underscore profile see we have this data i'm going to add following data to this dot bash profile scroll down i to insert mode save the file escape colon wq exclamation again verify see i have added this data which are nothing but the path environment variables control l to clear screen cd cd to this directory ls we don't have any files now we have to copy the downloaded zip file to this location open new tab ls cd home r2 schools pwd ls cd downloads ls hyphen and c we have this zip file we have to copy this file to this location so copy so command is cp linux then we have to provide target path that is this one copy this select the text and copy then paste here hit enter so we do not have permission so, no so use su ls so run the same command wait it is copying ls it's not done so size is almost 3 gigabytes it may take time instead of copy it is better to move by use run by using the command mv so it copied only 2.1 gigabytes still 800 mb left it is done let's go to the directory less iphen ltrx see the so size is 2.9 gigabytes but the owner is this one so we are going to change it to oracle ch own oracle then oracle hit enter so we don't have group so give oi is o install which we have created earlier o install space i forgot to give hyphen r also hyphen r o hit enter we have to do this by using root user exit ls hyphen ltrh c now user and group name has been changed this one then unzip then file name if you receive if you receive these two errors you have to run these commands for the first error that is unable to verify you have to run this command for the second error you have to run this command okay i'm not going to keep this in the video description run this commands when you run this 
run installer okay i have already run now run now run dot run installer wait it will open ui select the first option that is create and configure a single instance database then select the first option that is single instance database installation then click on next Then select the enterprise edition. Then click on next. This is the Oracle base directory. I am not going to change. Keep as it is. If you want to change, you have to click on this browser. You have to change. Then click on next. This is the inventory directory. Ora inventory group name is Ora O O install. Then click on next. Change this database operator to O install. This is the group name. Then remaining options keep as it is and click on next. Then select this automatically install, automatically run the configuration scripts. Check the first option that is use root user. Then Provide the password of root user. Otherwise, use sudo privilege. Click on next. Select ignore. See, these are just warnings. See, these are just warnings. You can ignore them by, by just clicking on this ignore all. Then click on next. See, this is the summary. So, click on install. This may take time. Also see here in the back end operations has been changed and the this is the log location. This may take time. I am pausing this video until this setup completes. Now it is asking us to run this scripts with the root user. Click on S. See we have see we have successfully installed Oracle. Database 21C on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 version. We can close. 